Hello everyone, this is Teacher Regil. In this video, we will be talking about factoring the sum and difference of two cubes. So, in factoring the sum of two cubes, we have this pattern. A cube plus B cube equals the quantity A plus B times the quantity A squared minus AB plus B squared. So, meaning to say, the factors are one binomial factor and one trinomial factor. So, how do we follow this pattern? So, to factor the sum of two cubes, it is advised that we will find first the binomial factor. How? We will get first the cube root of a cube, which is a, then the cube root of b cube, which is b. Then, once we already have the binomial factor, we will now make our trinomial factor. The first term here is obtained when we square the first term here in our binomial factor. a times a, a squared. Then, it should be followed by a negative sign then the second term is the product of the first and the second term of our binomial factor so that's a b then the last term here is the square of the second term of our binomial factor so that's how we do it now we will factor x cubed plus 8. So we have binomial factor and trinomial factor. Cube root of x cubed is x. Then cube root of 8 is 2. So this will be our binomial factor. Then we will make our trinomial factor. Let's square the first term x times x, x squared. Then it should be followed by a minus sign. Then multiply the two terms, x times 2, that's 2x. Then the last term, square this 2, 2 times 2, that gives us 4. So these are the factors. The quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x squared minus 2x plus 4. Let's do the second one. Cube root of 27m cubed is 3m and the cube root of 1 is still 1 so that means 3m plus 1 now we will make our trinomial factor square 3m 3m times 3m that's 9m squared it should be followed by minus sign sign 3m times 1 3m then 1 times 1 that's 1. So these are the factors. The quantity 3m plus 1 times the quantity 9m squared minus 3m plus 1. Now, factoring the difference of two cubes has this pattern. a cube minus b cube equals the quantity a minus b times the quantity a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now, notice again that we have one binomial factor and one trinomial factor. How do we follow this pattern? First again, we are going to find the binomial factor. Cube root of a cube is a, then cube root of negative b cube is negative b. Now we have the binomial factor. Okay, to complete our trinomial factor, the first term here a okay we square it a times a that's a squared then must be followed by a positive sign then multiply the first and second terms a times b that's a b then the last term square this negative b squared is plus b squared now let's factor 
x cubed minus 27. Cube root of x cubed is x. Cube root of negative 27 is 3. So that's x minus 3. Now, our trinomial factor, x times x, x squared. Because this is minus sign here, it will be followed by a plus sign. Then multiply x times 3, it's 3x. Three then the last term squared the 3, 3 times 3, that's 9. So these are the factors. The quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x squared plus 3x plus 9. Now let's do number 2. What is the cube root of 216d cubed? So it's 6d. Then how about the cube root of negative 343e cubed? It's negative 7e. So this is our binomial factor. Now, let's square 6d times 6d. That's 36d squared. Now, because this is minus sign here, it will be followed by a plus sign here. And then multiply the two. 6d times 7e, it's 42de. And then the last term, negative 7e times negative 7e, that gives us plus 49e squared. So these are the factors. The quantity 6d minus 7e times the quantity 36d squared plus 42de plus 49e squared. So I prepared here four items for you to practice. You can pause the video and uh, try working on these four items. If you are done, I can now show you the answer. So item number one, the factors are 3y plus 2z times the quantity 9y squared minus 6yz plus 4z squared. Item number 2, the factors are the quantity d minus 10 times the quantity d squared plus 10d plus 100. Item number 3, the factors are the quantity 5m minus n times the quantity 25m squared plus 5mn plus n squared. And item number four, the factors are the quantity x plus 8y times the quantity x squared minus 8xy plus 64y squared. Did you get all the items right? I hope you did. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Teacher Reggio. Keep safe.